Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to make sure a Notion database like this one is regularly backed up into a Google Sheet. Uh, this is an automatic process, this will do this automatically to make sure that your data is securely backed up and what that's going to do is that's going to give you a CSV which is ready for you to import back into Notion should disaster strike and you need to recover your database or create a new database with the same data. We're going to do this using the platform CSV Getter. This is our platform. It's a platform for connecting to your favorite data sources and exporting the data. It's great for setting up automatic backup processes like this one. So to get started, you need to come into csvgetter.com. There'll be a link in the description and connect Notion. When connecting Notion, you can be super selective about what data you want this app to have access to. You do not have to give it access to everything. Now, my uh, database that I'm interested in backing up is in the dev sandbox, so I'm going to make sure that's selected and press allow access. Once you've connected Notion like this, you'll be brought in to the, um, uh, to the create export flow automatically, and that's going to allow you to select your Notion database that you're interested in backing up, so it's found what's on Glasgow. Um, I'm going to call this event backups because it's event data, and I'm going to go ahead and click create. Now the next screen that we'll see in CSV Getter is the sample screen. This is a screen where you can basically view the data that's going to be in the backup. Uh, you can even remove data and reorder the columns if you want to, uh, if you want it to be of a certain structure. Now I don't necessarily mind, I just want to make sure that all data is there and backed up and um, that's the default setting here. Um, so then what I want to do is press export to Google Sheet. Now, if you haven't connected to Google yet, you'll see a box here telling you to connect Google. That's really easy. It's just like connecting Notion. Um, so there's two options. I can have kind of cataloged archived backups. So if I create a new sheet, it's going to create a sheet called events backup and have the timestamp at the end. So if I scheduled for that to happen every week, then I'd have a different file for each backup. Now, that's great for a lot of people because it will give you basically versions of your database. but if you don't want your Google Drive to grow and grow and grow with files, then you also have the option to update an existing sheet. And that's what I want to do now. So with the What's on Glasgow, I want this sheet to update with fresh data. Now just to show you how the process works, I'm actually going to clear out this sheet for now, just so we can see the first data set come in. Now back in CSV Getter, I'll press select Google Sheet, and then I can select What's on Glasgow straight from my drive. Now it's just going to load in the sheets. Now the sheets here are essentially just these tabs. So sheet one is the tab in Google Sheets, uh, sheet one, and you can select which tab you want it to update. So you don't have to, you could up update one spreadsheet with multiple tabs. Uh, so if I press save here, back in Google Sheets, if we wait a wee second, you'll see that all the data will just be piped in from Notion. And that's fantastic. So I can see, great, my Notion data is here. Now, I can come into CSV Getter and press this button whenever I want to make a fresh backup. You can do that whenever you want. But you can also do this automatically. So if I click Schedule, I want this to happen weekly completely by itself, and I want to know that it's been backed up. So I press Update Sheet. I select the sheet again, What's on Glasgow? And then I can say, I want this to happen weekly. I want to be notified. And then I can go ahead and press Schedule. Now, now that I've scheduled this backup, I've got a scheduled job in my CSV getter. So events backup, it's going to happen every week. I'll be notified by email when it happens, and I'll be able to check here when it was last executed. Similarly, if I want a fresh backup any time, I can just come in and press, uh, press save when I, have, when I have the option of exporting to Google Sheet, and that will update it as well. Okay, so let's say that we're in Notion and for some reason we've lost our precious database. Well, we shouldn't worry because we know that our data is in Google Sheet and we know that we've been backing up regularly. So in Google Sheets, all we want to do is basically download a copy of our Google Sheets file as a CSV. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So what you do is you just press File, Download, and then you have the option of comma separated values dot CSV. So as we can see, I've saved that as a CSV file. Now, back over in Notion, all I have to do is come here and press Import. And when I press Import, I want to select the CSV option, which is the file we've just downloaded. So in the Finder on Mac, I can find my CSV and my downloads. I just go ahead and open that. And the process is pretty instant. 
it basically pipes the data back into Notion pretty straightforward. Now, obviously, the, the, we, we did actually reorder the columns, so that it might be a slightly different order of the columns, but remember, you can always choose your column order in the CSV getter if you want to make sure that file is uh, basically rigid in terms of column structure. But I'm just happy with the fact that all my data is back. So absolutely chuffed with that. This is how you do it with, uh, uh, with CSV Getter. It's, uh, if you have any questions about this backup process and, and how it works with the platform or anything like that, then you can just email us anytime at info at csvgetter.com. Thank you for watching.